Hello everyone. So in this lesson, we're going to do quite a complicated kind of question. It's a type of question I've seen in a few exams. So what we have is a bore A, which is dropped from a 50 high meter building, while bore B is projected upwards from the ground at 40 meters per second. Okay. Now we will assume that that takes place at the same time. So at the same time, I should have added that in. Determine how long it will take for the two balls to pass each other. Okay, so we've got this building, and we're going to have bore A, which is dropped. Now, the word dropped implies that it doesn't have an initial velocity, or its initial velocity is zero. Okay, so this is going to be bore A. It's a 50 meter high building. And then bore B is going to be thrown upwards at 40 meters per second. And what we need to try work out is at what time will the two balls be passing each other? Okay. So the key thing to realize is that they are not going to travel 25 meters and 25 meters. But what we do know is the following. Let's assume that bore B manages to travel 30 meters before they go past each other. Well, then that means bore A would have to have gone 20 meters so that the total is always going to be 50. So what we can say is that the displacement, or no, actually the distance that bore A travels plus the distance that bore B travels should give us 50. That's the key concept we need to know. So let's bring out our formulas. Okay, so let's do bore A first. Now, we're looking for the displacement, okay? So we don't know what that is, but we know the initial velocity of A and we know its acceleration. So what we can use is we can use this formula over here and for bore A, I'm gonna choose downwards as positive because then I know that if I choose downwards as positive, is bore A going to end up below the position that it started at? Yes, it is. And so I know that the displacement answer is going to be positive. So that's good. So we're going to say change in X equals to V initial change in time plus a half A change in time squared. And so the initial velocity is zero. Gravity is positive 9.8 because it's traveling downwards and gravity acts downwards and the time we don't know. Then I'm going to do the same for B, but I know that B is going to end up higher than where it starts and I want that displacement value to be a positive so that when I add them together, I get 50. Okay, you want them to both be positive. So for B, I'm going to choose upwards as positive and so I'm going to use the same formula. So let me just write this out. And so the initial velocity, velocity of B is 40 and it's going upwards. And so we can keep that as positive because we chose up as positive. And so then, then gravity will have to be negative because we're choosing upwards as positive T squared. And so I know that this is going to give me a positive answer because it's ball B is ending up higher than where it started. And I know that this formula is going to give me a positive answer because ball B is going to I mean, bore A is going to end up lower than where it started. If I had chosen positive, I mean, upwards as positive for both of them, then bore A's answer wouldn't, it would be a negative. And so bore A would be like minus 20. And so then the distance for B to try make 50, it means that the distance of B would have to be 70. Now that can't happen because the building's only 50 meters tall. So we want to know both of the positive, we want both of their distances or their displacements to be positive. And so you have to be clever with your direction choice for each ball. So this is going to be for A and this is going to be for B. So then what we can say is that the displacement for A plus the displacement for B should give us 50. So I'm just going to fill these formulas in. So that's going to be Therefore, 0t plus a half times 9.8t squared plus, now I'm going to do bore b, which is 40t plus a half times minus 9.8t squared should give us 50. Now it just becomes a matter of solving this equation. So this part here is 0. This part here becomes 4.9t squared plus 40t but then this part is minus 4.9t squared and that should equal 50. So what's nice is that that part and that part cancels and so we end up with 40t equals to 50 and so if you had to go and divide you'd end up with t is equal to 1.2 seconds. So it will take 1.2 seconds until the two balls go past each other. So please 
if this video didn't make sense please watch it once or or maybe another two more times until it makes sense as I said it is in many exams that I've seen the important thing is just to choose a individual choice of direction for each one because as I said if we chose upwards as positive then B the displacement of B would be positive why because it's gonna end up higher than where it started and that means upwards is positive but for a which is going to end up lower it would have had a negative answer and so if you would have added their two answers you would have ended up with something like this and that would give you 10 and it wouldn't work out you want to know what the positive is for each of those and so for a you have to choose downwards as positive